bbadrenaline.com fans we are back with another committed uh section of our 2025 class and we are joined by ashlyn Paymo from uh omaha nebraska who just committed uh creighton's first verbal of the year so ashlyn good morning and and let's just jump right into it let's talk about your whole process with recruiting yes good morning yeah so what Talk about, um, with Creighton, obviously, and we'll talk about why in a little bit, but just talk about your process. You took about a week, um, just about a week before your verbal. Talk about that week, what it was like, um, you know, who you heard from, who you're interested in, those types of things. What was that week like before you actually committed to Creighton? Yeah, so um, the morning of my, one of my first calls was actually Creighton, and they did offer me um at that on that meeting and I was super excited but again I still need to focus on other schools that were contacting me as well and I was going on a couple of visits the next couple of days so I didn't want to um accept it right away I wanted to make sure it was the right decision at first so I was super nervous um taking most of the calls but then once I started talking to the college coaches more and getting used to the questions they were asking and stuff I was super excited and I loved getting to meet all of them. And then I went on my college visits and I came back and I was like, you know what? I think Creighton's the right decision for me being so close to home, such a great environment. So I accepted um, a week after. Yeah. And so we'll get to that in a second, but talk about, did you have some opportunities? What were some other ones maybe you were looking at? What were pros of those? Um, were you interested in going away from home? Did that not matter? Was it really about the right fit with you? Um, at the beginning of the recruiting process, I did think that I wanted to go home or um, I wanted to go far away and I wanted to go halfway across the country. Uh, and then I started doing more camps this summer and I realized that um, I did maybe want to stay closer to home. And I thought it was just better opportunities when you did stay closer to home. And I had another offer from UNO and South Dakota, which right. are pretty close as well yeah. um, and very, very great schools. Um, but then I did decide to go with Creighton. Well, you um, talk about, we talked off camera, you attended the select camp on the 13th. And we, we tweeted about that when I saw some of the names that were there. I mean, your class in Nebraska and the surrounding area is so deep with talent. Um, the people have followed it. But talk about that camp and just what that was like. Did it feel like a job interview? Yeah, the Creighton Prospect Camp was two days before June 15th. And it was super competitive. There were people not only from the Omaha area, but flying in um, to come to this camp. And it was the most talent I've ever seen. There was about four courts of just um, six on sixes and playing, and everyone was competing for that scholarship, for that spot, um, for Creighton to offer on the 15th. And it was the most competitive environment I've ever been in. <laughs> um, so talk about the program and Coach Booth and and just uh, the high reputation that Creighton has as a program and coach. Um, obviously, you guys clicked at camp. What was her impact like on your on your committee, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, so um, I love her as a person. I love her. Um, obviously, I haven't gotten coached by her yet, but with the camps I've done, um, she's an amazing person. And watching her, she's an amazing coach. And I connected with the program. Um, not only is it close to home, but it also has great culture, um, great people. And I've gotten to play with a lot of the recent commits at the camp last year, the prospect camp that I went to last year. So that was a great experience. And just getting to meet the players and be a part of their family already before even committing was an amazing opportunity. And so at the end of the day, uh, maybe break down why Creighton, I, I'm assuming like coach was part of it, but break down the reasons why um, like this is for me. Yeah. Um, besides the coaches, it is very close to home. So getting to play in front of friends and family will be a big positive. And um, the culture of the program and the way they treat everyone like family there is great, along with their education um, is top of, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> is um, 
with sword um, yes their <laughs> programs <laughs> yeah. um, their athletic and academic programs are top notch well and you look at their schedule too and obviously you have the year in your out rivalry with nebraska um they oh, yeah, for sure the match that started the whole um largest crowd in history thing last year um right there in omaha and then you have pitt in the conference and you know they play you're gonna play a nationally ranked schedule every year mm -hmm. and be right in your home city yeah exactly um i'm super excited to be able to in a couple of years be in that environment and to get to play against nebraska it's going to be the most competitive game atmosphere I've ever seen. And I'm so excited to get to be a part of that. Um, along with, I know I talked to Coach Booth and their goal is to consistently win the Big East every single year, which obviously has been done for the past couple of years, but I can't wait to be a part of that success. Yeah. And uh, talk with people, maybe Creighton fans, you know, in the Omaha area, I'm sure you're known, but just talk, let's talk about your game a little bit. Um, cause I mentioned in a tweet that you go, you know, maybe a little bit under the radar. Um, I've seen you play several times, but talk to people, what are the strengths of your game being a, you know, six, two and your height for one thing, but what are the strengths of your game on that pin? I feel like I am just an ultra competitive player that, um, has a lot of shots that I can use minus being able to hit the ball. Um, I definitely am a team player and I, um, go out and compete every single game. And I think that's something that a lot of recruits see about me is that, um, I want to win and I'm there to be competitive and play for my team as well. Well, one thing on that, just to give us a selfless plug, you're going to be at the Midwest battle in Sioux Falls yeah. and you want to talk about a team that should be lined up to win that Nebraska team. Um, you guys are fairly talented, so yes, <laughs> you're gonna be playing with a lot of competitive uh, mm -hmm. athletes there and against. But uh, last thing, tell Creighton fans what they are getting um, in you as a locker room part of the program, and what they'll get from you as maybe work ethic or as a player. I think they're getting a player that wants to be there, wants to win, and is going to be a super fun time on and off the court. That's perfect. Ashlyn, you're awesome. Thank you so much for being so candid and open about everything and mm -hmm. congrats on uh, your big commit. Now you can relax. And as you said, just focus on getting better and better. Exactly. Yep. Awesome. Thank you for your time. And we'll see you in a few weeks in Sioux Falls. Okay. Thank you so much. Yep.